you don't want to be that person that randomly shows out out of nowhere after two years and hide behind an email i know i've been there <laughs> hey sir i know i hope you remember me hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello welcome my name is grace patrice and you are watching the pre-med hub i am a first year medical student at the mayo clinic alex school of medicine just to give you a quick background of who i am in today's video i'm going to be talking about the five things you absolutely need before you apply to medical school and i think this is a really good time to start thinking about your application start to let you know put things together because application season is going to open um, I believe the last week of May to the first week of June where you can put in all your materials. So I just want to give you all the tools and resources you need. Before I get into the video, I just want to share a quick memory verse to really encourage you, as encourage everyone, everyone, my Christian and non-Christian followers alike. And it can be found in Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. Jeremiah 6 verse 16, thus says the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path where in the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls amen amen so i shared this because i really like this verse i came across it like around last year and i really liked it before because there's a way to do everything and before i go into like all the details i just want you to know there is a way to get into medical school everyone gets in through various paths like everyone does different things but there's like actually a way to get into medical school and that's what we're going to be going through in this video so now let's get into it the first thing you need when applying for medical school and it is no-brainer is that you need a GPA specifically speaking you need a good GPA to apply into medical school and there can be like a lot of like you know factors and variables because like most schools are now looking at applicants holistically so in addition to your gpa other things really play a role but your gpa needs to be strong i would recommend a 3.5 and above i know i didn't have a 3.5 and above when i was applying to medical school and this is going to be my advice for anyone that has a, um, a gpa below a 3.5 if you have a gpa below a 3.5 really look at your application critically look at your gpa critically if you have like a 3.2 but you have like an upward trending gpa and a really really good NCAT score extra extra extracurricular activities and the likes you actually might not need to get into you know do something else to really bolster your application for medical school but if you're between a 3.0 and a 3.5 uh, a 3.0 and a 3.4 you might want to consider doing a post back program or a master's in medical sciences so when i graduated from medical when <laughs> we're claiming it we're graduating in 2025 when i graduated from the university of virginia you know we were repping virginia over here when i graduated from the university of virginia i had a cumulative gpa of a 3.4 and a science gpa of a 3.2 and that coupled with an mcat score of a 503 was not enough to get me into medical school so i ended up doing a master's program so really look and see what works best for you do you need a post back program or do you need a master's program and i'm going to be doing a whole different video on that the second thing you need absolutely again no brainer you need a good mcat score so the mcat really ranges from i think 490 something to the highest is a five 524 or honestly if you get above like a 520 or like 519 i think you're in the 100 percentile but the higher your mcat score the higher your chance of getting into medical school i had a 509 when i applied to medical school the second time i took the mcat twice the first time i took it i had a 503 and the second time i took it i have a 509 generally speaking the higher your mcat score the higher your chances of getting into medical school now it really depends i people can you can get into medical school with a 4.0 and a 504 mcat or a 3.9 and a 503 MCAT or even like an MCAT lower but just to increase your chances of doing uh, of getting into medical school I highly recommend you know having a dedicated study period to really crush this MCAT course once again I have a whole different video on how I got my 509 if you want anything above a 509 I'd recommend watching other videos because that's what I got and that's what I can teach you 
what I'm saying? Okay, so the third thing you need, which I personally believe is like the most important part of the application process, is your letters of recommendation. So the people that are gonna be writing these letters, you should consider them as your fans, your cheerleaders, the people that absolutely want you to get into medical school. This is a really good time to, you know, start emailing, um, um, your professors or anyone you've identified that can potentially write you a strong letter of recommendation you know wish them happy new year let them know that you're thinking about them you don't want to be that person that randomly shows out out of nowhere after two years and hide behind an email i know i've been there <laughs> Hey sir, no, I hope you remember me. Um, I took your class and I got an A. No, that's not the kind of letters we're going for. Mm -mm. You want people that like you, that are like supporting this journey of medicine with you. They are like absolutely sure I write you a letter. So now is a good time. Please start reaching out to them. You don't want to be reaching out to people like three weeks before applications open because you want to give them enough time for them to you know write an awesome letter, which I'm going to be having another video on. The fourth thing you need when applying to medical school are your extra curricular activities and now I know I have a whole different video which I'm going to link up there but be very mindful about the kind of extracurriculars you engage in because we all know you know it's helpful it's recommended recommended honestly that's going to be my code if you hear me say recommended just flip it to required and I know a lot of schools will say you know it's recommended that you have like research it's recommended that you have like shadowing recommended that you know you've pub published some I, I don't know if you're into research like publish a paper whatever the school says recommended and we tend to like you know get into this habit of like oh my checkbox or oh, did I shadow did I um did I do my research have I volunteered like a thousand hours and all of that and they're great but my advice to you when it comes to when it comes to extracurriculars is to like pursue things you actually like and enjoy and I think that was like one thing that really helped me stand out I was a studio art major at the University of Virginia and I wrote my entire personal statement about photography and I really believe it helped me stand out my whole application in general was just like about me and the kind of things I had done and enjoyed and I think that's what matters most at um, admission committees please don't be the cookie cutter standard person yeah I did my research I published these papers I shot it a thousand hours and it's like you're boring we want to know who you are, what takes you, you know, what you enjoy, what you're bringing to the table and all of that good stuff. So please be mindful about your extracurriculars and don't feel shy to like, if you like to like pop plants or if you like to garden, don't feel shy to like put that on your application and feel like, oh, this is not what they want to hear. Trust me, they do. And I'm going to teach you guys how to write a personal, how to, <laughs> I'm going to teach you guys how to write and let you. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you guys how to write an awesome personal statement. You know, a personal statement that slaps yes, that when they read it, they're like, mm, yes, bring this girl, bring this boy. We wanna interview you and we wanna get to know you more. You feeling me? Okay. So the last thing you absolutely need when applying to medical school is that you need to know how to write and you need to know how to tell your story. And it's very important because think about it, a school like Georgetown School of Medicine is, give, is getting over 10,000 applications for their medical school. So you need to stand out in your writing. Your writing needs to be like succinct, straight to the point, but also you should be able to draw the reader in, captivate people. Just don't be boring and be like, you know, I decided to do medicine because of this. And just like have it like being like, you know, bullets from kind of it's like, it's boring. And honestly, they might toss your application to like um, wait list for interview. And it's like, you never hear back from schools again. So please, if you don't, if you're like, I'm not a very good writer, that's okay. We all have that friend that's like really great at writing so how help have them edit your essays edit your you know your essays your personal statement and all of that good stuff okay guys that's what i have for you in this video let's move on to the next video yeah.